Hi guys, welcome back to Keith's Grills. Today we are doing a cowboy steak. Now, for those who do or do not know, the only difference between a cowboy steak and a tomahawk steak is they've chopped the rib off. Normally you've got that big long bit that sticks out like that and you're hi yo 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 Well, they've just chopped that bit off. So, very simple. We are literally going to season this up. We're going to stick her in the fridge for a good few hours, let a bit of a dry brine really. And then we're going to bring her over to the fire pit and we're going to cook her on some high heat, some high flame and get all caveman shit on it. Do you know what I mean? So. So I said to you, very simple. We are going to take this and put that on there. And then we are using Lowry's seasoned salt. It's a good bit of kit, this is. But as I say, we ain't going to go fucking, it ain't rocket science what we're doing here today. We're literally going to give her a smother. Like that. And like that. Get a bit on those edges, on the sides. And guys, it is as simple as that. She's now gonna go in the fridge, I reckon probably three to four hours. We're gonna come her out and then we're gonna light this bad boy up and fire this thing. All right, I shall see you then. All right guys, jeez man, that is hot. Sun is shining, life is good. What more do you want in life, huh? So what we're gonna do is that steak is uh, dry brining in the fridge. Still got a good few hours to go yet. But in the interim, what we're going to do is we're going to make up a nice chimichurri because you can't beat a bit of chimichurri. Really straightforward, real easy. You're going to need one of these blenders. This one, this neutral bullet, got to say, I'm pretty happy with it. Anyway, four or five garlic straight in there. We are going to be using some uh, flat leaf parsley. Stalks the fucking lots all going in. Bosh. We are going to be using some uh, coriander as well. Now, don't need to put all this coriander in. Just about half the bag for that. That can go in and all. To that, we are gonna add ourselves a third of a cup of olive oil. This is about that much. We are gonna add ourselves a uh, couple of teaspoons of um, Red, uh, red vine vinegar. <laughs> red, red wine. Stay close to me. <laughs> Silly son. We're gonna, add, <laughs> we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of red wine. <laughs> Fucking red, red wine. A red wine vinegar. You can use white. It's entirely up to you. So give it a couple of tablespoons of that. About that. Then we are gonna use two tablespoons of dried oregano. In she goes. We are going to use salt and pepper to taste. So I'm thinking a reasonable pinch. Salt. And a reasonable pinch of black pepper. Now look how much oil we've got in the bottom there. I'm going to put a little drop more in there. And guys, that is pretty much it. We're going to pop that on the top there. We are going to bring this over the middle and we are going to blitz this little fucker. Let's give that a shake. Fucking looks like one of those. Uh, <laughs> looks like one of those. Uh, one of those, those, those shakes you see on a fucking advert, didn't it? You know, where somebody's trying to be healthy and they're trying to drink that fucking green shit. No, mate, this is chimichurri. It's going on a big fat steak. Right, let's have a taste. Give that a bit of a clean up. Oh, that's fucking nice, that. I think I need a little bit more salt, though. A little bit more salt. It's to taste, guys. Fuck it, stick a little bit more pepper in there and all. And fuck it, stick a little bit more red in there. Oh, let's. Let's give that another little quick blitz. Right. 
see how we got on here. Oh. Oh, it's fucking beautiful. Oh, oh. That is nice. Happy days. All I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to stick that in the fridge. Get that all ready for when we stick the bad boy on, on the open fire. I shall see you then. Hi, guys. Welcome back. We are just about getting ready to fire this bad boy up. First things first, let's get some hot coal in here. Oh, that is warm. Maybe put the old one glove on for that. Do you know what I mean? As I said to you, we're going hot today. And there she goes. That is hot. Happy days. Pop that out of the way. Give her a little bit of a poke. <laughs> Let's give her a little bit of a poke. Can't beat it, can you? I mean, right. That is roasting, guys. Bring this over. Give her a little bit of a spray. Lovely. Now, as you can see, our steak is looking lovely. She's literally been dry brining for what? She's the best part of five, six hours now. And we are literally just gonna get her up, get her on here and get her cooking. Here we go. I think we're ready. We're just going heat, heat, more heat. Are you ready guys? Listen for the sizzle. Oh, you can't beat a bit of fucking sizzle. Look at that. Do you know what I am gonna do? I'll tell you what I am gonna do. I'm gonna give her a, a little spray. A little spray and a little rub. Just protect her a little bit, that's all. There we go. All right, she is on. She is on. Get rid of that. Hot, hot, hot. Now, I like my steaks medium, guys, so I'll be shooting for about 135, all right? Before I do that, I'm gonna get myself a beer. Once that fat starts to drop a little bit, we should get a bit of flame. Lovely, jubbly, lovely, jubbly. Let's have a little look under there. Here we go. That is what we're looking for. That is a what we are looking for. And then out of the way. Has a big old steak, guys. That is a big old steak. She is thick as fuck. <laughs> Bless her. Still got quite a way to go, though, guys. Lovely jubbly. Oh, look at that. That's more like it. Nice bit of char. Give her a flip. Keep working her, baby. Keep working her. That is looking fucking lovely. Nice, lovely bit of char in there. Lovely jubbly. We're getting up. We're getting up there. Look at that. One oh two. When she gets to about one fifteen, guys, she's going. I'm going to take this grate off and I'm going to stick her straight on the coals. All right, we're going caveman. Whoa, that's more like it. Still not there yet, guys. It's tender though, I can fucking, we're going straight in. That's there, that end. That is definitely there, that end. Look at that. Right guys, here's the plan. What we're gonna do is bring this off for a sec. We're gonna lift these grates up. He says. The trouble is they expand when they get up. Go over there. Okay. And then we are going straight on. Are you ready? There she is, look at that. There 
There we go. That's a lovely looking chart. That's it, she's done. Put this little lot back together. There she is. It's time to let her rest. Right guys, we are there, we are rested. We have our chimichurri just here. Never looks that pleasant though, I'm not gonna lie to you. Just like, like green sludge to be honest, but hey ho, it does taste good. And then we have our cowboy, stroke tomahawk. Let's see what happens. Take these glasses off so I'll see what's going on. And cut straight down there. Ooh. Let's have a little look in there. Let's have a little try. Let's go straight through the middle here. Whoa, it looks nice. It looks nice, guys. The proof is in the taste, as they say. I've got a lovely char on that though, I'll tell you that much. And that is cutting beautifully. Look at that. And there we have it. Let's try it without the chimichurri first. A little bit of ball juice. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my God, that is beautiful. That is literally beautiful. Cheers to you. There is a lovely char right across there and underneath. I'm gonna try this chimichurri in there. Oh. Jesus Christ, that's oh, going go again. That is fucking beautiful. Literally, that is crispy there, almost crispy. Beautiful. Bit of that. Oh. Even I'm gonna have to say it, guys. I think that's fucking bang on. That is literally bang on. Very simple. Like I say, all we did is dry, dry brine for a good, no, is it four to five, like five, six hours in the end. High heat, under coal, and then finishing her off directly on the coals. And that's where you get that beautiful crust. You see there, we made the chimichurri sauce. Oh, a oh, perfect combination, guys. I promise you, anyone put that in front of you, you would not be upset. Now remember, don't forget to push all the fucking buttons and I'll see you next time.